the lore behind Vintage Story is creepy to say the least. I've discovered the odd scroll or booklet describing a catastrophic event that drove humanity underground. Memos and letters from kings, doctors, even a guy named Jonas who seems to think he's a god or people think he's a god, I don't know what's going on. But I do think it's time to dig a little bit deeper. So this episode, I'm heading to the Resonance Archives. I figured I'd squeeze in a little bit of a mining adventure right now. Uh, I got my two mining bags. I got 16 loaves of bread, but I might look for some fish. Here we go. Might as well just bring them into the mine with me. Have a little extra food. If I can even hit them, there we go. I just don't want to step in the water, but I guess I gotta. All right. I don't know why I did this. <laughs> There's ice literally forming around me. I'm gonna freeze to death just trying to get some fish fillets. <sighs> That's not where I wanted to land. Oh my god. I really should have just cooked some more bread. Alright, here we go. I think the temperature kind of balances out the deeper you go into the cave. There's just like a flat temperature that's usually above zero, if I'm not mistaken. So, diving into the uh, fish ponds might not have been the worst idea, but definitely not the best idea. came down here because I got a very high nickel reading when I was prospecting, like 8.4% density trace or something crazy, so there's going to be nickel in here. I don't know about anything else, but I know there's going to be nickel down here somewhere. But I'm really just here for for the mining adventure. It seems like the nickel is a, is a late game kind of thing. I don't really know if I can use it yet. So, if I can find a translocator down here, or just some more ruins, some more gears, that's that's good enough. I'm just on a little adventure here, trying to have fun. Okay, buddy, chill out. I'm still shaking from the cold, but the screen effect seems to be slowly disappearing, so I think I'm in the clear down here. Having material for a campfire, especially on a journey like this, probably isn't the worst idea. Just in case I'm not able to get inside a cave. Oh, there's a gear here. That's a good sign. This... Looks like I'm gonna get lost. Good thing I got these ladders. Kinda helps mark where I've been and where I'm going. No sign of nickel yet, but I might break out the prospecting pick to kinda hone in on it. Plenty of drifters down here though. No shortage of that, ever. Ever. All right, let's see here, one sample, two samples and then will this work as a third one it will okay it's down below eight now on the percentage it's seven percent i'm gonna head back towards the entrance i think if i go to the tunnel this way it's gonna lead oh hello hello translocator that's that's even better than nickel i would say I've now made a habit of bringing three temporal gears every time I go into the mine for this exact reason because I need it to activate the teleporter, the translocator. Always get that wrong. There we go. Okay, where did where did it put me? Let's see here. Oh my god. All right, that's the archive. It's further than the archive. Huh. This cave is very interesting. It's a lot different from what I've seen before. There's just a lot of giant open spaces and really tight, low ceiling parts. It's, it's weird. There's some copper in here though. Got another copper deposit. Couple drifters. Just deep drifters. Three shot kill. Come here. I'm not scared of you anymore. 
and some more copper holy there and there's some up above here too these are big veins too they're not just like usually the surface copper in the cave no, i guess not surface copper oh there's more yeah see this is usually what you see just like one two maybe three poking out but when you see the amount behind me it's that's an alarming amount this this, uh, if I ever need copper, I'm just gonna take that translocate. Okay. <laughs> Nothing crushes the spirit of adventure. Quite like coming face to face with one of those stupid fucking bells. Oh my god, there's so much copper. There's like, I, I found four sections that have like two to three veins like surrounding them this is craziness and there's gears everywhere so i'm thinking there's gonna be some sort of oh my god some sort of ruins down here too there's just like a ridiculous amount here. This is just stupid. I'm gonna have to come back here with bombs and just blow this whole cave up. Some silver here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Everywhere. Everywhere I look. Copper. Copper everywhere. Bismuth. Okay, this is... This is the spot. I marked everywhere I could see copper in this cave, and I am definitely going to be coming back. I'm going to leave now because it's just too much to grab at once. I'll have to bring some, some crates, or I guess I could use the ones in here and just mine as much copper, put it in here, bring it back, but there is just a ridiculous amount there. I'm not getting it in one go. That's going to be uh, That's going to be quite the expedition. That was like a reconnaissance mining mission. I didn't actually get anything. I found probably hundreds of ingots worth of copper ore, and I labeled a bunch of the nickel locations with the prospecting pick. I also made a separate entrance that I can climb through here, a ladder that leads to a tunnel that leads to the highest reading for the nickel. And then through the translocator here is all the copper, and it is a lot of copper. Like, more than I even have marked here. I just stopped marking it at a certain point, because every tunnel I went down had copper. It was, it's just crazy. But honestly, the more copper I find, the better. Like, I need it for almost all the alloys that I make, and I can turn it into copper plates and make a ton of lanterns. So it's just, it's always needed. <laughs> I should really think about putting some more doors on the sides of my tower here and maybe, I don't know, closing my front door every once in a while. That might improve my chance of having a drifter-free home, but uh, they seem to just go wherever they want, so. I don't know why I bother. Oh my god. Don't hit the boar. I just caught that. It's the dead of winter. Don't, uh, okay. Are you? I, uh, I'm trying to save your dumbass. Stop! Stop! Oh my god! No, no, he's angry. F this shit. Save yourself. Save yourself. I think the next big thing I want to tackle is at least scouting out the archive or whatever it's called. I've got plenty of food. My armor isn't in the best shape, so I'm probably gonna want to fix that up before I head out on a big journey. And then I really want to make a bunch of bandages with the reeds and horsetail. It seems to do just as much healing, if not more, than the, uh, the linen bandages. So I might do that today. Head out on a little adventure, grab some horsetail, grab some reeds, make some bandages, and, uh, and then kind of figure out what else I need for this big archive journey. All right, to make the bandages, I need more horsetail than I need reeds, but I horsetail is definitely a lot harder to find because at least reeds you know are going to be near water. Horsetail is just random. 
know there's horsetail kind of in between these hills here, but yeah, last time I was here I got violently assaulted by a pack of wolves, which they still seem to be here, so maybe not, maybe not, maybe I'm not going to collect anything here. <laughs> a little bit on this island here, at least I'll hear the wolves splashing through the water if they do come and attack me. Oh, okay, no, no, no. I hear something coming, I see something coming. It's a bear, I think. Oh God, I don't know if it's coming for me, but I don't, I'm not gonna stick around. Oh no, I fell in, I'm gonna freeze. Oh, it's a bear, it's a bear, it's a bear. No, oh, he's still there, oh my God. They blend in so well in the winter, they're just white blobs moving through the snow. That cave looks like a decent spot to hide right now. I see you're hiding down here too. <laughs> it's fucking scary out there, dude. Okay. Okay, I think the coast is clear. I kind of want to find a tree and get some firewood because I'm going to start taking damage from the cold here very soon. What is the- oh, the snow is putting it out? I should have just- oh, I should have just stayed in that cave. I can cover this, I guess. Hopefully this doesn't burn down the trade caravan, but I need a heat source and I need it right now. Body temperature is 36.7. That's close enough to 37 for me. Should be enough warmth to kind of circle back around this mountain and head home, I guess. Haven't really found much horsetail at all, and it goes into a kind of gravel desert around the other side of this mountain, but I don't want to spend all night out here in the freezing cold, so I'm going to start heading back. There's a couple small ponds slash lakes over here, plenty of reeds, so I'll grab these while I'm here. Oh, that was close. So a very sad amount of horsetail was actually gathered on that trip, but I do remember seeing some sprouting on my roof. Just a just a tiny bit. Here we go, yeah. One, two. Maybe just two. Oh, three. Three horsetail on the roof. Turn it into a horsetail poultice. Yeah. Basically a bandage. And then, kind of just, I guess I'm just going to hope I find some horsetail on my way to the, uh, the archive. I really want to work on my inventory management, so I'm going to do a little bit of organizing before I, what the hell? Hello, rabbit. <laughs> okay, what was I saying? Uh, uh organizing chess. I want to put, like designated chests in designated rooms for designated things so like here I'm putting all the Jonas parts all my gears which I have so many like I thought I only had four or five but when I start pulling them out of individual chests like look how many I have it's crazy so I'm gonna group stuff like this in designated chests in designated rooms so I know exactly where to go if I need it and exactly where to go if I have to dump it somewhere and then in turn, this should help me organize my like hot bar and personal inventory a bit better. I know it hurts. It hurts me as much as it hurts the viewer. I'm trying my best out here. I want to make some bombs to do a little bit of quartz mining before I head out. There's a little cave entrance here that leads down to where I first found iron and I know there's a lot of saltpeter which is one of the main components for bombs. And then I also had a comment saying that you can use it as a fertilizer and it's a really good fertilizer for flax which is one of the only things I really grow in the summer. So I'm gonna grab a bunch of that, possibly grab some iron if there's any left down there come back, make some bombs, make some tools, and then blow some shit up.
This cave is actually pretty extensive. I thought I found everything I could in here when I hit the iron deposit, but this seems to go on for quite a ways. I am here for the saltpeter though, so I'm just gonna collect this and then possibly come back in the future. Good to know there's more to it though. I need sulfur, which I have here, black coal, which I store under my forge, and then to make the bombs I need the blasting powder, which is saltpeter, sulfur, and then the black coal. And then I have to put together the linen, the string, and the blasting powder, and I get 48 bombs. That's a lot of destruction. Now I know there's a huge deposit of quartz in the side of the mountain. This is how I used to get to the traders. I used to walk through the valley here. So I'm gonna go prospect over there, see if there's any silver. See if there's any gold. I don't know if it shows up on the prospecting pick, but uh, whether it does or doesn't, I'm gonna blow the f out of that mountain. Okay, quartz is, what am I taking damage from? Hunger, okay, just hunger. No bears yet. All right, so the quartz is right up here and it like, it runs probably 500 blocks plus across this mountain. So there is no shortage of it. Um, I'm kind of worried about how ugly the backside of this mountain is going to look when I blow it up, but, um, I'm okay with it. I don't see it from my base, so it is what it is. Giant hole in it won't really affect my, uh, daily scenery intake. Gonna grab a few prospecting samples and see if there's anything of note in the area here. Trace it. One trace of ore in this area. Cassiterite 0 0.03. That's not ideal. Minuscule amounts of hematite and cinnabar. Okay, so there's not much going on here. Uh, that's alright. I still want to blow it up. That is never going to get old. I'm gonna make a few crates to store the quartz where I mined it because there is no way I'm finding anywhere in my base to fit the amount of quartz I just blew up out of the mountain. I've ended up with over a thousand quartz chunks, probably closer to 2,000, and then almost 400 clear quartz chunks. So, yeah, I think I'm good on quartz forever. So I've already processed a bunch of the iron I mined out earlier in uh, the bloomeries. So I've got iron blooms ready to go, but I kind of want to speed up the process. And I saw someone in the comments, I don't know if it's true or not, but someone said you can kind of set up two helve hammers on, um, on one anvil and it, uh, it, it increases the speed at which you can work iron blooms, and uh, that would be lovely. That would be very lovely. Now, I could always look up a guide for the optimal setup here, but um, you know me. I'm going to make it a nightmare for myself and just try to figure it out as I go. This is not going to work. I feel like I'm doing this so... This looks so bad. Oh, no. No, this isn't going to work. I think a large part of my problem here is I'm trying to set up gears on stairs and it's just not connecting. There we go. That's going to connect. Maybe if I remove the pillars, I'll have a little more room to work with here. If I connect this to this, this to this, bring the gear this way or the axle this way to the middle. All right. And then, no, this isn't going to work. It's not, it's not going to line up with the hammers. All right. I got to scrap. I'm going to start over. Ugh. I'm outlining it with uh, dry stone cobble just to kind of visualize where the path is going. And I think, I think I got it. I think I got it. I got it. Okay. Hell yeah. All right. This thing should work. It's working. Okay. Okay. In theory, I should be able to place a hammer on both on both bases here and it should be able to hit the same anvil oh i can even put my pillars back here 
all part of the plan. Place the original hammer back on. It works, we like that. And then the new one works as well. And they both hit the same anvil. And I don't see why this won't work. Lovely, 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 lovely. I'm gonna test out the double hammer on some iron blooms here and see if it actually improves my life in any substantial way. It's honestly pretty sluggish. I don't know if it's the way I have the gear set up or what. Like, I mean, it is a bit faster, but I'm still doing 90% of the hammering. I left to go place my forges over here. I came back and I guess the wind must have picked up because the hammer is just, the hammers are just going crazy. Okay, this is actually an improvement. I'm getting like six ingots done here at a time. I pick them all up out of the forge here throw them on the anvil, hammer it out, it takes me like a minute and a half, and then I start the next set of six. It's just, this is, this is awesome. Okay, so I need to check if it's a windy day, if I want this thing to have full output, I guess, but the full output is absolutely insane, and I have so much iron that I don't even know what I'm gonna do with it all. A lot of tools, probably. A lot of tools. Okay, I think I'm ready to really start prepping for this uh, archive journey. I don't know what to expect when I get there, so I'm going to at least prepare for a very long journey on foot and then prepare for something to murder me, I think is probably a good place to start. So a new sword, some arrows, and fully repairing my armor is, is probably a good idea. My armor needs repairs. I don't want to go into the archive and then have my pants break on me. That would not be ideal. Good thing I have a bunch of... Why is there so much rot in this chest? I don't remember putting f food in there. Do hides go bad now? I'm pretty useless with the bow, but I'm going to bring one just in case. I've got some ladders, some bandages, a bunch of arrowheads. I have feathers upstairs, so I'll make some arrows. 36 arrows. I doubt I'm gonna really even use those, but just in case, just in case. I think I'm almost ready to go. I'm just gonna warm myself up, head down to the cellar, grab three or four crock pots, bring a bowl with me, and then just kind of snack on that on the adventure. And then if I need the extra inventory space, just throw away the crock pot because it's really easy to make them out of clay. It is time consuming, but I think the inventory space is going to be much more uh, important. Okay, it is 6 a.m. I've got everything I think I'll need. I honestly don't know what I'm going to be up against here, but I know I'm going to be up against a very long journey through a very cold environment. So I think if I can manage that, I can make it to the archives. As to what's in the archives, that's another story. But this is really just a reconnaissance mission. I just wanna see what's there. I really should have brought a torch with me, but I'm gonna have to make a fire starter because it's been two in-game hours and I'm already starting to freeze again. So I'm thinking frequent breaks at a campfire are gonna be mandatory. Oh yeah, even with the sun out midday, I'm still freezing to death here. Hello rabbit. Hello fox, how's it going? Did it just bite me? I, <laughs> it was going for the rat. It's still coming for me. Get away from me. Oh no. <laughs> okay, okay, there's a hit. Oh no, it's actually dealing damage to me. Get the hell out of here. All right, it's gotta be nearing midday here. It's so, it's not even on the map yet. This is crazy. This is definitely gonna take more than one day. I can safely say that at least. Oh God, now I'm gonna definitely need a campfire. That is the fastest I've ever lit a fire with a fire starter. That's gotta be a record. So I gotta wait for my body temperature to get up to 37 degrees and then I will continue my adventure. 
I've been avoiding crossing water all day, but I think I've backed myself into a corner here. I might just have to go for a sub-zero swim here. Uh, I'll make a fire when I get to the other side. I have yet to set up a campfire, but there's a bunch of little ponds over here that I kind of want to make it to so I can camp out for the night. Uh, bears don't really make that much noise, but I figure if I'm near water, I'll hear them splashing towards me at the very least, so that might be the safest place to kind of set up camp. Whoa, what? Uh, is this a hot spring? Sludgy gravel with hot spring. Bacteria... Oh, it's got a temperature. Will this warm me up? I might not even need to start a campfire. Hold up a second. Hold up a second. This is a hot spring. I've got to label this so I can uh, use it on the way back, too. Wait. Oh, no. The ra the poor rabbit. No. On the bright side, the uh, frost effect has gone off my screen. I think I'm actually warming up here. So, sorry, rabbit, but hooray for me. Okay, I just need to put down my bed and then... Nope. Nope. Can I, uh, can I give this bear the boiled rabbit treatment? <laughs> Maybe I should just hide in a tree right now. <laughs> I fucking hate bears. Bro, leave me alone. I've been perched up here for, uh, ten minutes. I haven't heard a bear in a while, so I'm gonna, gonna climb back down, set up a bed near the hot springs, and see if I can't pass a little bit of time here. So far so good. I'm gonna place my bed here. It's 10.15, so I should wake up. I should wake up and have a decent amount of time to be walking in the daylight. I don't know how much further I have to go. It's still quite a ways, but I'm making progress. 5.40. I heard animals the whole time. No bears, though. No bears in sight. Oh, it looks so cool here. I love it. Alright, so I've made it this far. Got one fire pit here. I can stay here on my way back to keep warm. Oh my god. Okay, this place may have saved me for the night, but, uh... It's looking pretty deadly. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get... I gotta get out of here. There's a bunch of water coming up here. I think I might need to build a raft. It just looks like a lot of lakes, a lot of ponds that I'm not gonna want to... What? Okay. Chill. Why are the boars aggravated? I didn't do anything. Okay, this actually is a perfect little land bridge over this like watery area so as long as I hug these mountains I think I'm uh, I think I'm in the clear here I shouldn't need to build a raft okay these this thing's circling yeah he's coming for me what does your tiny frozen boar brain think I'm food like what leave me alone I swear that yeah they're just automatically aggressive automatically aggressive right now. Did he survive that? Are you alive? Not anymore. He was alive. My bad. <laughs> he did attack me first though. Or he did, uh, he did charge at me first. Okay, I am getting so close, but the closer I get, the more lakes, the more ponds, the more just water I have to get around. This is this last stretch is taking forever. I'm going I'm going to make a raft. Okay, six on each side and then rope down the middle and I got a raft. Get the maple key out of here. Wait a second. Wait. Whoa, did the maple key spin? Oh, the maple key spins. Oh my god, no way. No way. No. That's so cool. 
No way they added that detail. As a proud maple syrup consuming Canadian, this is, uh, I can confirm this, this maple key is very realistic. And I've lost it. That's okay. There's, there's, there's more to be found. I'm getting very close, but I think it's in these mountains here, the uh, the archives. So I I have quite a bit of vertical trek left to deal with here, unfortunately. But I can see the finish line. Maybe it's right over the mountains here, literally like 50 blocks away from it now. I don't quite understand what the entrance is gonna look like when there are so many mountains here, but. I'm still excited. I'm right on top of it. There's some cobblestone or something here. Oh, I'm excited. Okay. Oh, what is this? What is this? I need to set up a base camp and warm up here before I even think about touching that ladder. Feeling uh, cozier already. Not really. This place is freaky. Can I close these doors? I can't close these doors. Rusted heavy gate 2x4. Huh. Oh, this is so cool. Whoa. I'm gonna drop a couple torches down there just to see how deep this is. What the f? Thanks for watching. If you'd like to support my videos and get three days early access to every video every week, check out the join button on my YouTube profile. Other than that, be sure to like, subscribe, check out our other wild gameplay videos and series, and stay tuned for more Vintage Story episodes. See ya.